fuck me. People will always go I'm lame. gonna have to get going. And that's what counts. Been really good kid since. Did you know the little girl is city nearly burned to the ground in 1772. You're a pilgrim, aren't you? That's right. Do you hang people for that, too? Uh, I just wanted to say that I was rooting for you. Uh-huh. Thanks for standing up for me. What? But I, I didn't... Ah, I get it. Sarcasm. Look, it's not that easy to go against the crowd. Sure. I know people are scared of pilgrims sometimes, but... Shit. You survived outside the walls. <laughs> that to be some. I ain't leaving the bazaar today. The wind is blowing from the east. That's a bad omen. My pal Steve put in a biomarker he hacked off and infected. Three days later, he was gone. Yeah! 
Yeah. <sighs> 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 Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. 
Please, storyteller. Oh, my favorite. A tale of heroes for our two war heroes on their special day. A story of the secret language of the Night Runners. Praise, Praise to, to the, the Night Runners. Runners. But we must remember the perilous life we lead. So this reminds us of the horrors that must <coughs> be faced with the brave heart of heroes. In the... <sighs> Hans? Hans, you there? Hans? Drink that water. <coughs> water? <coughs> this isn't water. <coughs> oh, that moron must have taken the wrong bottle again. Forget his own head if it weren't stuck on his shoulders. Hey, what did you mean by the wrong bottle? He always takes a little rocket fuel with him when he goes hunting. But the booze is right here. That means he's got water. Where is he? And what business is that of yours? The water he got from Julian. <laughs> It might be contaminated. He's hunting at this, uh, the military tower, a, a few hundred meters west of here. Unless he's at the courts. I'll go to the tower. You check the courts, fast. Wait, wait. Take the booze with you in case he's already drunk some of the water. I bet what's in this bottle will kill whatever's in that one.
mind now. Bomb the way. This motherfucker. I got something for you, you piece of shit. Gotcha, you piece of. <laughs> Hans? You old fool. Hans? Yeah. <sighs> 
Hans! Are, are you Hans? What do you want? Did you drink any of that water? Goddamn right I did. Tasted like piss. It's your booze. Take it. Your wife said chug. Drink it already! Bullshit. What? <laughs> My wife said that? My Anna? She thinks the alcohol's strong enough to burn the poison out of your system. Ha! Huh. My woman. <laughs> so she loves me after all, despite her bitching and moaning. And they say romance is dead. Here, for making my day. And maybe saving my life. <sighs> Look, you need any help getting back? Nah, I'm good. Me and this bottle of booze still got some work to do. Everyone, this is Sara. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sara. Hi, Sara. Hi, Sara. Today, Sara has a story to share with us. Sara, please begin. Then. But when I got here, in 2024, I was young. All my short life, I'd lived in this city. Yeah. But eventually, like everyone else, I had to flee. And I, uh, 
Great. Another water thief. Just what I need. Between thieves and infected, I'll be out of business soon. I'm here because a guy named Julian claims you sold him poisoned water. I didn't poison anything. All right? Uh, Julian claims otherwise. Sure. Listen to the guy who sold me flour mixed with plaster. If you're not the thief, how are you with infected? I need to get rid of those things that are down there. If not, I'm done here. Poison water or not. Okay, I'll get rid of the infected, and you tell me what happened. Deal? Sure. Deal. Hey, kid. Right, okay, you're safe. 
Now, what's the story with the water? Wait. So you really are one of those fucked up pilgrims. Wait, fucked up? Now we're safe. Gotta be a fucking criminal. Or pretty damn fucked up to drag your ass hundreds of miles through a world full of virus. Fucked up in a good way, of course. So, what about the water? There ain't nothing wrong with my water. The man at the bazaar was poisoned. And you'll be blamed if he dies. <sighs> damn it. Okay. It was an accident. Okay? An accident. It's because of these goddamn thieves. Thieves? They're always stealing my water. I can't take it anymore. So, I decided to set the trap. So, you deliberately poison the water to kill the bandits? Uh, not quite. At least, uh, I didn't mean to. A, a while ago, I killed this viral that came crawling in here. And the fucker fell straight into a tub. The whole tub fucking ruined. Then I got this idea. Why don't I teach these bastards a lesson? So I filled some bottles with the zombie water, sent them out where they'd be easy to see. They were never supposed to make it into the bazaar. Guess I was sauced up and accidentally sold a few bottles to Julia. Look, I'll give you all the flour I got. I'll even throw something extra. Just don't tell anybody. I'd be ruined. They'll blame Julian and he'll hang. Don't you worry about Julian. A weasel like him will find a way to weasel out of it. And if not, then that's one weasel less in the world. So, we got a deal? Just be honest and tell your story to the bazaar. It was an accident. You nuts! No one would buy even a drop of water from me ever again! I won't let Julian hang for something he didn't do. Fuck Julian! I got my own skin to save. So that's a story you ain't going to tell. Looks like... I got something for you, motherfucker. Can you take it?
Yeah. <sighs>
favorite. Hey, Tail. So right. Am I seeing things? <clears throat>
Inhibitor container detected. Get me out of this thing! <laughs> 
Can't thank you enough for saving me. But take this. What's going on? Bevan's husband is dead. Julian's been accused of murdering him by poisoning his water. Aiden, please, tell them it wasn't me. Julian is innocent. A viral fell into a supplier's storage tub. The guy drunkenly sold Julian contaminated water. It wasn't a murder. You'd swear to that before the Bizarre Council? Yeah. Where's that supplier? He's going to stand trial in- Marco is dead. I, I killed him. And my job here is done. It's okay. I forgive you. That scum Marco got what he deserved. Thank you, Aiden. Half of my flower is yours. Yeah, the flower mixed with plaster. Huh? Uh, no. Where'd you hear that? Oh, yeah, so once, but, yeah, you know, it... Now keep the plaster. Just pay me and we'll be even. All right. I'll tell Bebin what happened. <laughs> 